Hey everybody, Monster TV here today. I'm going to be going over the collectibles, components, and relics for Act 2 Gears of War 5. Let's get to it. Starting off, spawning in on Chapter 1, immediately head down the stairs and to the right into the building, right next to the cash register, you'll find your first collectible. Immediately once collected, turn to your right again and towards the back of the store, you will find three components sitting on a box. After this, you're going to head down into the market and hug the wall on your right hand side where a boy calls you a fascist. Go up a set of stairs, turn to the right, and go down another set of stairs, and you'll find a component on the ground behind some ice blocks. After this, continue back the way you came and go across the road up into the adjacent building, which is somewhat of an overlook. On the far side, in a shelving unit tucked away, you will find your next component. Next, go back down the stairs and head into the middle of the road, where you'll find a furnace that has your next collectible on top of it. After this, continue straight towards the giant horn-like monument and go past it on the left side. Next to some bushes, you'll find your next collectible, which will complete this area. Next, pass the set of security doors, hug the wall to the right, and go inside a small storage room where you will find your next component on the wall. Follow it up, continue on along the path where a boy will call you a fascist. Where the boy is standing when you first see him, there will be a large concrete block with your next collectible behind it. Then, proceed down the road where the boy's mother pulls him into their house. Immediately turn left and go into the store where you'll find one component and your next collectible. Then, proceed onwards down the path and enter the mechanic shop where you'll find a collectible on the wall in the middle of the broom on the left hand side. After this, head down the stairwell, and on the left-hand side at the very bottom, you will find your next component. Making your way into the next area, you will be greeted with a vision. When the vision is over, turn left and head into the building, where you will find your next component on the left-hand side of the room, inside a shelf. After you've collected this, keep going outside the building and turn right into the next building, which is somewhat of a greenery. On the middle of the table, you will find your next collectible. Then, head outside the building and go all the way to the right, as far as you can, and then go behind the meat shack where you will find your next component. Lastly, head down the path toward the chieftain's house, and just before you speak to him on the right-hand side, you will find your next collectible. After you have spoken to the chieftain, you will have to go back the way you came. Once you have came to the mechanic shop, immediately turn left and go into the workshop where you will find more components. Then, proceed onward towards the armory, where you'll find your next set of components tucked away on the right-hand side just as you enter the door. Next, continue on to where you get the silverback. Just before entering, behind said silverback will be your next collectible. Then, towards the end of the chapter, you will find yourself in your uncle's workshop. On the right-hand side, you will find a wall box that contains one component, as well as your next collectible right beside it. Then proceed to the other side of the workshop where you will find a ladder, and at the very top of said ladder you will find the last components for this chapter. Moving on, let's head to chapter 2. Firstly, spawning off, head down the hill from your initial spawn location and make your way to the impassable wall. When you proceed through the set path, instead of heading to the right and through the bunker, make your way left along the cliffside where you will find your first relic weapon. Then continue on down the set path once you've gotten back on your skiff. Once you jump off a cliff, head straight forward in front of you until you come to two destroyed vehicles. The first vehicle will have a collectible and the second vehicle will have a component located on it. Once done, continue north towards the red cabin. Inside said cabin will be your second relic weapon. And then towards the entrance on the south side of the building, you'll find your first component. After this, make your way towards the train yard. Once inside, at the very end of the tunnel, you will find a collectible and a component. Next, head back outside and onto your skiff and follow the tracks towards the next set of train cars. Inside said train cars, at the very back, you will find your next collectible. Then, proceed on to the final objective. You will come across an outsider camp. At the camp, you will find your last collectible and last component for this chapter. Next, moving on, Chapter 3. Once you have made your way inside the first building, take a right-hand turn and on the counter on the far right side of the room, you'll find your first collectible. Next, further along in the mission, once you have 
completed a warden, follow the path and enter the building on the right hand side that's full of juvie pods. At the very bottom, once you go down the staircase, you will find a safe and inside of it will be components. Next, once you've fallen into the prison, make your way out of your cell and across the hallway into the gas room we will find your first set of components. Then immediately cross the hall again and have Jack bust open the door of the adjacent room where you'll find a set of components and your next collectible. Then continue on into the morgue and hug the wall to the left hand side where you'll find your next collectible. Proceed on after that into the children's room jumping through the window into the observatory where you'll find your next collectible. Follow that up by proceeding down the path until you've come to a little long hallway. On the right hand side you'll find an operating room with a dead locust on the table. Next to him will be your second to last collectible. Finally, towards the very end of the path, before you meet Niles, you come to a large computer room and on the right hand side you will find your last collectible, Chapter. Moving on, let's head to Chapter 4. Once in Chapter 4, get back on your skiff and head towards the old cog wall. Once you've reached the old cog wall, proceed inside. Then, when inside the wall itself, go to the left hand side and climb up the ladder. And proceed up the ramp into the small room where you will find some components waiting for you inside. Once you have opened the gate, get on your skiff and proceed to the other side of the entrance. Immediately stop and hop out and on the right hand side you will see a wall box with more components inside of it. Next, get back on your skiff and follow the wall to the left until you come to a large rock that's surrounded by trees. On the eastern side, you'll see a lone tree that has your next relic weapon leaned up against it. After this, proceed southeast towards the eastern comm tower, where you'll find the comm tower substation. Proceed inside where you'll find one component and one collectible. Next, we can proceed on towards the comm tower itself. Once you've made your way inside the comm tower, walk down the stairwell and hug the wall to the right where you'll find components on the ground. Then, when you've made your way into the next room, immediately on your right hand side, on top of some cabinets, use Jack to collect the next set of components. Finally, once you're leaving the compound, before exiting, going down the final set of stairs on the left hand side, you'll find a wall box with the final set of components inside of it. Next. Leaving the comms tower, get on your skiff and head north towards the ice bridge, heading up the hill where you'll see a iced over vehicle and you'll find your next collectible. Following up, head back across the ice bridge and follow the path to the right where you'll find a container-like train car that will have a component at the very back end of it. Then proceed on towards the mine where on the far left hand side, you will find another component hidden in the snow just before entering the mine. Once collected, proceed in the entrance of the mine where the fence is located. Look to your right past some stumps and run up the hill where you'll find your next relic weapon. After collecting this, proceed into the mine and toward the next area. When you get to the area with a bunch of train cards blocking a bridge, instead of turning left and following the path, Veer right and go to the very end where there's a train car and inside you will find one component. Next, make your way across the lake and on top of the bridge on the other side. And then climb the ladder up into the tower where you'll find your next collectible. After this, proceed inside the mine and immediately once you've made your way through the door, on your right hand side will be a storage room that has a safe full of components and a poster on the wall that is your next collectible. Finally, for the end of the mine, once you've reached the room full of pods, on the left hand side there is a sleeping area for the miners that has a collectible and a wall box full of components. Next, we can head on to the next area, which is the southernmost condor. Just before reaching the condor, hug the wall to the left and you will see just underneath the ice bridge that there will be your next relic weapon. After collecting this, proceed up to the condor and inside. Just after entering the condor on the right hand side, you will see a wall box full of components. Then up the hill, further in the condor, are more components and a safe with a ability for Jack. Next, we're going to head north towards the next objective, but stopping on the way when you see a piece 
of what appears to be the condor ripped off and strung about the snow. Here you will find your next component. Once collected, get back in your skiff and continue heading north towards the northernmost derrick site. Just around the corner, up ahead. Once you get off your skiff, proceed up the hill towards the objective on the right hand side on the dead person you will find your next collectible. Then heading into the area of the wall to the left and destroy the icicles that are presented in front of you, allowing you to collect the component hidden behind them. Pick up your next collectible from the derrick itself. After you've completed this area, head north again towards the next and northernmost condor site. Once you've entered the first area, on the right hand side next to a tri shot, you'll find your first set of components. Then once you're exiting this area, there will be a safe with a jack ability inside of it. After you've collected the jack ability, proceed towards the exit, but instead of jumping off the cliff at the very end, on the left hand side, hidden, is a component. Then, once you've jumped down off the cliff on the right hand side will be another component, finishing this area. Following up, we're going to head towards the North Comm Tower. When arriving at the Northern Comm Tower, hug the wall to the right and go behind the two structures, where you'll find your next relic weapon. Then proceeding up to the substation itself, you will find your next collectible on the keypad outside. Follow it up, proceed inside where you will find component tucked away on the left hand side of the wall, a jack ability inside the safe in the next room. After this, head back outside and hug the wall to the right until you find a wall box full of components on the side of the building. Next, we can proceed on toward the comms tower itself. On the way up to the comms tower, you will come across a crash condor that will have a safe inside of it. Inside said safe will be some components. Next, further along the path, after finding a warden, on the right hand side there will be a group of DVs guarding another safe that also has some components inside of it. Once collected, proceed inside the comms tower where we will find our next component. As you enter the comm tower on the left hand side on the very top of the catwalk. Then, proceeding past the main room, entering into the second area, collect Jack's next ability on the table in the next room. Thus completing the comms tower. After this, you're going to want to head to the South Derrick location for our last spot. Once you've arrived, head to the left hand side of the entrance where you'll find the components and a collectible. Then proceed inside and complete the objective where you'll find the next collectible at the finish, thus completing the South Derrick location. Finally, proceed to the very end of the mission just before you proceed to the next chapter and look to the left hand side where there will be a bunch of ice frogs and just behind these rocks, there will be the last thing for this chapter, a relic weapon. Moving on, let's go to chapter 5. Entering into chapter 5, the main character will have a vision just before entering the bunker. Immediately turn around after having said vision and follow the path behind you. Hug the wall to the right and you will come across your first collectible. After collecting this, proceed with the story where you have to destroy the generator. In the left bunker that you have to cloak into to get past the turrets, there will be a wall box with components inside of it. Then continue on to meet Niles. During the tour with Niles, the first room that you come to is full of Cairo. When you go down the left path to destroy the generator, you will come across your first component inside the facility. Then once the power is down, head up the ramp on the right side towards the middle of the room. you will find a wall box with more components inside of it, and then a collectible right next to it. After this, continue on with the tour until Niles mentions failed specimen. Just after that, on the right hand side up a small ramp, you will find your next component and you will be thrown into a cutscene. Just after said cutscene, you will find your next collectible on the floor, to your right. Next, in the area where you have to use a shock trap to get past, components on a shelf and your next collectible next to the generator. Moving along, once you've located Niles' dead body and deactivated the lockdown on the right hand side, you will find your next set of components. Backtracking a little further, you will find your second to last collectible. Once collected, proceed on into the next room, and once the door opens on the left hand side on the floor, you'll find your last collectible for this chapter. Next, just after the Berserker impales Kate, you proceed on into the next room. Before turning to the right, look across the chasm, and you'll find the last components for this chapter. Thank you guys for watching. Every view really does mean the world to me. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. Thanks, guys.